Here we go guys, Asian savory sticky rice. Look, even if you don't know about sticky rice, you need to know about this dish because it's delicious. This is my version of Vietnamese chicken sticky rice. So I reckon like every Asian kid or like half Asian kid in my case, um, has this like deeply ingrained love of sticky rice. <laughs> it never leaves you. Uh, it's always something that's super comforting. And I wanna share my love of sticky rice with you guys. The way to cook the sticky rice is the same way, even if the topping is different. So what you're looking for at your Asian grocery store or online is sticky rice or glutinous rice. Sometimes it's called glutinous rice. You can't make sticky rice with like long grain rice or risotto rice or anything like that. Look for the sticky rice, soak it overnight, and it will look like this. So it kind of plumps up a little bit. It means you get a really even cook um, and the perfectly kind of cooked sticky rice when you go to steam it. Now the best way to cook sticky rice, in my opinion, is to steam it. So first of all, I'm going to drain the water from that rice. And then you wanna use a steamer basket here. And I always put down a little bit of cloth. This is cheesecloth, but you could also do a clean tea towel as well. And then tip your rice into the cloth. Cover it up and then steam it over boiling water for about half an hour or so, or you can also use a rice cooker. So I'm gonna pop that in my rice cooker. Just need a bit of water. Sticky rice and start. So while my rice is cooking, I'm gonna make a couple of things, topping and sauce. So let's do the sauce first. Fish sauce. I need some rice vinegar too. Some sugar and a little water here as well. I just want to heat this until the sugar dissolves, that bubbling away, and then turn the heat off and just let that cool down. Now for the chicken topping, um, I'm going to do both chicken and Chinese sausage here. It's really cool because like the Chinese sausage gives you these like little pops of sweet pork. So with your Chinese sausage, it's also called lap chong. Uh, I would search it out online or try and find it at your Asian grocery store. And just some nice slices here. Now some chicken. Start off with a little bit of oil, add some garlic, some shallots, Chinese sausage, and now the chicken. You just want to keep tossing this around until that chicken is just cooked. So now the chicken's almost cooked, I'm going to go in with a few more things here. So I've got some dried shrimp and I've just been soaking that in a, for about like 15-20 minutes or so. And that's gonna add like some really nice like savory funkiness into the dish. I also want some fish sauce, some soy sauce, and some sugar. At this point I can turn the heat off and just let my topping here sit until my sticky rice is ready. My sticky rice is almost done now, so I just wanna finish off my sauce. Now I've got my fish sauce mix that I made earlier. It's nice and cool. And to that, I'm gonna add some garlic, some chili, and some lime juice. And so this is basically nook chum, which is a really great drizzle sauce, dipping sauce. You know, if you don't use all of it for your sticky rice dish, you can always keep it in the fridge for a few days and use it as a dipping sauce. Let's get all our things ready. Let's get the sticky rice. All right, let's see what's been happening in here. Okay, so have a look in here and your sticky rice should be sticky, <laughs> um, but it shouldn't be like kind of loose and gluggy. It's unique texture where it's at once firm and chewy and sticky. So there you go, magical, mystical ingredient. But this is your rice, that's looking really good to me. That's perfect texture. I could really just sit here and eat that. It's just so, it's something so comforting about the flavor of sticky rice. I love it so much. Okay, this is how we put it all together. Some sticky rice onto my plate here. Spoon over some of this yummy chicken sausage business. Don't forget to drizzle over some sauce. And now some chopped peanuts here, some spring onion. And that to me looks like, like literally like the dish of my dreams. <laughs> Probably not for everyone, but it is for me. Just a little drizzle of this nook charm on there. 
kind of just want to get a bit of everything. Mm. It's so good. Please try this one, guys. Channel your inner Asian kid. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you!